Daniel W5 EKG gonna do a pass on a linear bird. Uh, it's XW2 Bravo, cast 2 Bravo. Tried doing two Fox on the last pass and something was going on with my rotor and it was freezing up, so um, I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, so it kind of um, messed up my whole pass. But uh, we're going to try it here with two Bravo and uh, let y'all hear the linear birds on um, ICOM 9700 running SAT PC32 software and PST uh, rotator for rotor control. We got some rain outside, it's just now starting to uh, do a little bit of light rain. I got some noise to my south, some kind of kicked up here on two meters for some reason so CQ, CQ, CQ Satellite Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, and Echo Mic 1 6. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think we had one before. Um, I'm running the Alcon 9700 to end square wheel tack about 20 feet in the air. And I am doing a demonstration video right now for YouTube, just letting you know it'll be on there later tonight. <laughs> Yeah, Roger, I'll look at uh, your email on QRZ if it's good on there and send you a link. Here, a Whiskey 5 Echo Kilo Golf QSL. Let's see if I can snag one more contact uh, before the bug fades out. Again? W5 EKG, KB6L, QI. Last station for W5 EKG. Yeah, KB6LTY, W5, EKG, please copy Echo Mike 16. QSL, QSL, we're in Southern California. Static Echo Mike 16, 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 CQ satellite, CQ satellite, whiskey five, echo kilo golf, echo mark one six. Kind of bumped the tripod there a couple times. Sorry about that. I threw it off on the video. I have to go back and look at it once I get done. There's only a couple people on this pass. I don't know if it's just because we're doing a West Coast pass or what.
May just uh, bird's about to fade out on here, so um, KB6LTY. <laughs> Sorry about that. Your voice kind of threw me off. Um, I was trying to tune you in a little bit there. Um, at first, I didn't realize you was a female, so the higher pitched uh, tone of your voice kind of threw me off. Um, but uh, so as y'all can see. Uh, linear satellite versus working an FM is a little bit different um, on 9700 it, it's still tracking the satellite but you, you got to do some fine tuning on it, it it's not going to completely uh, track frequencies um, on top of a carrier um, you know like like the FM birds so um, you can't just you know use a piece of software um, in conjunction with it and just let it be um, you're gonna have to fine tune um, the carriers um, so if you haven't looked at my other videos um, I am running um, with that the SAT PC32 software um, with the latest update to include the 9700 and for my rotor I am using the PST rotator software um, because I am using um, Green Hair and Engineering's um, as L rotor. Um, I couldn't get their as L rotor to work with my um, um, with their piece of software because the Green Hair and Engineering has two USB outputs, and I couldn't figure out a configuration to work directly with SAT PC32. So. Um, you got to use another piece of software in between SAT PC32 green hair controller um, for it to do full tracking. Um, I do have the other um, green hair controller, just a regular RT21 for my main tower. I just got it out in my shop right now because I was soldering some quick disconnect plugs um, for that one. But as y'all can see, demo of linear birds, like I said, my other videos were just the FM birds, um, and that did do quite well. Um, it was just, uh, I do got some QRM on this end, like I said, it's just now kind of starting to drizzle and rain a little bit, and um, so I got some power line noise, arrestor noise, cracked arrestor, something nearby, um, that was... Uh, Kind of giving that 60 hertz cycle noise there on two meters. Um, I did have the noise blanker activated on there, but let me see if that light helps or not. I have problems with this. Uh, my lighting in this room is a little bit different uh, than my previous room, so it's been kind of tricky for me to get the lighting right in here for these videos. Um, but other than that, um, I tried to do do the last pass uh, for two Fox that went by because it had a really good just direct overhead pass. Um, but I had something weird happen with my rotor um, and it wanted to freeze up at 90 degrees for some reason. So um, I had to shut everything down and um, reset everything and figure out what was going on. And by the time I got everything reset back up and going and making sure there wasn't an issue with my uh, rotor that was just software, the bird had already passed. But uh, two Bravo was coming in right behind it. So, um, and that was a pretty good pass. There was just a couple people on it that I heard. Um, I did make contact with a Kilo Fox Zero Quebec Sierra and a Kilo Bravo 6 Lima Tango Yankee. So, um... But y'all can see the difference, like I said, working linear versus working um, FM. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get uh, my other tower vertical or not before the VHF contest this weekend because uh, we've got some crummy weather coming in. Um, and in square was having to send me a driven element from a 70 centimeter beam because uh, something was messed up with it. 
Um, I was getting high SWR readings and impedance was thrown off on my uh, 70 centimeter beam. And tracking shown it wasn't going to be here till Saturday. So, uh, and my 2 meter stack 1296 beam, uh, my 6 meter Yogi and regular HF beam ready to go up on my tower. Um, but I didn't want to put all that up there and have to drop my tower back down again and put the 70 uh, centimeter beam on there. So I don't know if I'm going to get to do the VHF contest or not this weekend. Um, I said I got all my all my hard line laid underground finally. Um, I got all the coax ran up uh, to the tower. Um, I got all my connectors put on. Um, I'm just ready for it to go vertical, but I had that uh, snag whenever I was checking all my beams before I stuck them on my tower. I got another uh, little short tower that I mount mount my beams on and, and check everything on them before I mount them. And uh, something happened with that um, 432 beam, and uh, M Square had to send me another driven element. And now it's not showing it's going to be here till Saturday. So, um, if the weather cooperates tomorrow, I may go ahead and get it vertical and just run my uh, square uh, two meter stack 1296 and six meters in the VHF contest. Uh, but I'd like to have the 432 multiplier in there. So, um, but in the past, I have ran. Uh, this uh, on my M square on this separate tower, um, I have made contacts with that um, in a previous VHF uh, contest. Even though it's on a short tower, uh, you know, just some contacts, you know, within a hundred miles. Um, even though it's only 20 feet in the air, I've made contacts with it, sideband contacts. So I may revert to that. Um, I really just don't with that that big stack of Yagi's going in the air once I get it vertical I really don't want to have to drop it back down again in a day uh, put the 432 back up there so uh, rather than that um, this video is getting long winded sorry um, uh, this is just like I said another quick demonstration uh, of another pass going over but um, get this posted here in a little bit and um, send this out to a couple people that were on there so they could hear what they sounded like except I was having to fine tune a little bit but other than that this is Daniel W5 EKG73 till next time